a USB-C hub with six USB-C ports. Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here, and I'll tell you that however many ports you have on your computer, you always have one more device than you have plugs for. So the good news is that there are a million different hubs out there. I'm checking out this one. This is the EasyQuest Slim Gen 2 6-in-1 USB-C hub. And it gets much more interesting when I tilt it this way, because you can see there are six USB-C ports. And of course, there's one on the end, and that with the included USB-C to USB-C wire is how you plug it into your device. And then you have so many more ports. Super helpful. Now, the one that is closest to this is actually a USB-C power delivery 3.0 with 80 watts max if you give enough power to this overall device. And your minimum input for this to work well is 45 watts. So you will want to think about your power source if you want to use this to distribute power across multiple charges. If you're not worried about that and you just want connectivity, this is also really easy to work with. So the second one, the one that I actually had this plugged into, or will have this plugged into, I should say, is a USB-C 4K plug at 60 hertz. So it's a nice fat bandwidth cable connector. And then the last four connections are all USB-C Gen 2, which gives them 10 gigabits per second shared and they have 15 watts that they can share across these if you're powering multiple devices. Now, this is pretty common with hubs is that if you wanna plug in like five different phones and have them all charge at the same time, it's not gonna give you the best performance versus plugging in one or two. But to test this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in my Android phone. I am going to plug in my Western Digital two terabyte external drive. I'm going to plug in my little, what is this company? This is an OKHY little tiny flash drive. And we're also gonna plug in this external ViewSonic monitor. Now, I should also mention that this is compatible with Thunderbolt three or four and it includes this very nice little cable. So I'm gonna use this plugged in with the cable to my MacBook Pro, and then everything else we're gonna plug in and make sure it all works. Let me get that set up. All right, we have a bunch of things plugged into the hub. So I have a second display going through the hub, and I have an external hard drive and an external USB flash drive, and I have my phone charging, all powered from the computer, all hooked up. Now, let's jump onto the Mac and see if these hard drives are actually accessible. Well, I see them both. So the thumb drive, obviously, is a thumb drive, and it only has a couple of pictures on it, but you can see that those are fully functional. And if we go to the Passport, this is a two terabyte drive, and let's open it up and see how things are working. Looks like everything's working just fine. So let's go ahead and grab something onto my desktop just to see what kind of performance we get. And that was done, that was easy enough. Let's see, how big is this file? That is 300 meg, so still pretty small, but we can make a copy of it. And let's see, so, it's not lightning fast. It's definitely giving you a performance hit versus having the drive directly plugged in, but it's still entirely acceptable performance. So everything's plugged in. Let me get back on my regular setup and talk to you a little more about this device. That all worked really well, actually. It's really nice, really easy, definitely helpful to be able to have all these things plugged in simultaneously with one USB-C connector. Now, I wasn't getting fast charging on the phone, but this isn't designed to deliver lots of wattage for power and charging across all of its ports. So that's just very much within the normal parameters. Now, let me give you a little close-up so you can see all the different ports, they all look pretty much the same, but it's all USB-C and it's really easy to work with. 
In terms of dimensions, it is 4.6 inches by 1.3 inch by 0.4 inches thick, so it's pretty darn thin, and it's three ounces. So this is an absolute no-brainer, easy thing to have in your computer bag or your backpack. And you just plug it in and you're ready to go. Now, this particular MacBook Pro has plenty of ports, but if you have like a MacBook Air or there are many PCs and especially like Surface devices and those really thin devices might often have like one or two USB-C plugs. And if you're using one for power, then that doesn't give you much option for all of these other things. And that's really where these hubs shine. So this is definitely one to check out. EasyQuest has a remarkable range of different hubs that offer you different functionality, different number of ports, different levels of power on them. So all definitely worth checking out. If you're feeling the pinch because you don't have enough ports, here's your solution. Now, I'm gonna ask you to subscribe to my channel. Click or tap on that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon for notifications. Give me a thumbs up if you found this of value. And if you didn't, please leave a comment and tell me what you wish I would have covered. So, that's everything. This is the EasyQuest Slim Gen 2 6-in-1 USB-C hub, and it is $79.99 at Amazon.com. That might sound a little spendy for a USB-C hub, but I'll tell you, the first time you plug it in and plug everything in and it all works, you'll be like, this was an absolute great purchase and definitely a huge improvement to my computing environment. And of course, if you have a home office, you can have everything plugged into this, and then when you're ready to go, all you have to do is plug the hub into your computer, and boom, external keyboard and display and external hard drive, all of that is just suddenly online and ready to use. And that makes it a real great upgrade. So. Definitely one to check out. Hope to catch you in my next video.